is a uh, person peoples mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the kansas kid that's that's person peoples yeah it's not one to put my, my face up there which i know everybody's so upset about Let's see my new haircut though All right, well, dead air. <laughs> it's the dead air podcast. Well, let's let's start off by uh, the big news before the card was old Tony Robes getting the big dick from Grayson, right? Yeah, yeah. I I personally thought that was hilarious. It. It happens, you know. I've I've been dicked a few times myself. Uh, you probably deserved it at the time. Well, fair. you're probably Tony Robes in it. He is kind of a Gino Light type of guy, but that's He's new. It's, a, it's a good formula. So he ended up with uh. You ended up with Terry. There, I don't know. Well, I think we did it. You ended up with old Terry Anus. Your favorite. You guys I like a salad that. together or anything? What was it? You guys getting a salad together? We might. I don't know. It's tough to uh, book a trip to Scotland right now, but someday I'm hoping to have that salad. Maybe have a pint in the pub. Maybe she'll come here. You never know. Maybe. Did you, did you get a chance to look at the match? Yeah, you were in it. You were pretty yeah, I was in that match. Yeah, that match was it was all right. Kind of ugly, a little bit. Yeah, it got got a little gross. Uh, Demi broke her neck. That was it the big. Joined it, yeah. Failed substitution, a uh, possible murder. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, then Tony just laughed. Yeah, Tony just walked out. So Terry wins. Uh, she wins via walkout, and, yeah. uh, and an emotional speech at the end, which was. That part was, uh, yeah, and then I laid down for it because I respected the speech so much. I mean, you know, it, it was pretty really amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know Tony feels horrible now that he's misjudged her. and <laughs> Yeah, I. it was an eye-opener for him, I'm sure. Definitely not Pikachu. It might be Pikachu. Probably Pikachu. So I've uh, I've got notes on a lot of the matches here. Did you get to get to see many? Yeah, yeah, I read through most of them. I got some notes. Well, good. I hope, hopefully, our our notes will fill in each other's blanks. Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the easy one: uh, Max Entropy versus uh versus old Chip Martin. Yeah, it's more like a chirp. Yeah, quick. Chip. Uh... So, Chip didn't show up for that one. Yep. That's uh, on the, uh, too bad. I hope uh, hope it's just kind of a blip on the radar and he's back. I like Chip. Yeah, Max, you know, he wasted a bunch of shrooms for no reason. Yeah. Well, so, he has a reason always. Yeah. I mean, you don't need a reason. He's the ultimate daddy issue guy. His daddy's a demon or something, so. There's a lot of daddy issues later in the card. Like everybody's dad was kind of a dick and gives you issues. If not, your dad was kind of a pussy and gives you issues. So, yeah. Probably. Gotta go one way or the other. One or the other. Then we got, uh, did you see, uh, the hugs and high five connection. 
versus the old guard, old Carnage and Omega. Yeah. yeah. I like that match. I thought that was a really good match. I thought I it was like the, Yeah, interference right out of the blocks from from the cowboy and Yeah, that was a good way to kick it off after the kidnapping and then uh Yeah. All these guys seem to have a lot of fun with the match. Yeah, I have a history with each other, like the Omega flashbacks and Yeah, they did uh big, the commentary was good too. I enjoyed the commentary. Yeah, and I love everything stand up. The uh, accidental tag bit when they're trying to hug and high five. Yep, and, and high five. About how tag teaming was made for them. Yeah. Five. It was it was a good match. I liked it. What what would the chat think about Stan not being a good guy anymore? He said. Yeah. Well in this one, uh off pinned Carnage via schoolboy. Mm hmm Big so, I like the roll up. Big big win for the for the first first time out for H and H Connection. Speaking of big big first wins, person peoples with the big big win over uh, Jake Price and a and then Hank no showing Hank Hooligan. Put the alert out for him. Get the get the milk chugs printed out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this match was what it was. You, you, you seem to make the most of it. I don't know. Jake was there for a couple posts, but then I think he kind of bailed again. Yeah. I'm... Possible Benny quit right in the middle of the match. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Seen... He's supposed to be here. Thanks. He is. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. You're supposed to read all the anus matches and stuff for us, so we didn't have to. Yeah, we had to read everything now. I think we like that. Yeah. The big news is, uh, out of here, uh, Person Peoples wins with a roll-up, another kind of crucifix roll-up. And he's going to be putting his stupid name on third man in contract. Possibly, nice win. possibly close to you someday. Yeah, that's a nice even, win. Even you. Come, come for the champ, maybe. Maybe tag team title, maybe. Who, who knows? Could be anything. Yeah, that was a good one. I like the third man in contract idea. I mean, it got me a little bit motivated. Yeah, you seem to enjoy that match more than uh, ideas to work. More, more I'd seen you post with persons in a while. I got some ideas of persons trying to get some stuff together. Any any matches you stood out for you? Um, yeah, there was some matches. Uh, I thought there was a few on the top of the card that were really good. Uh, Mav and Bolton were a good match. That was fun. Uh, I always I like, like uh, I always like the mix between a comedy guy and a serious guy together because you know the comedy guys they can just kind of go off and get, get crazy. Lost. But you know I like I like when they kind of have to interact with the real world and interact with real people. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. I like the just in there the. I liked how Mav kicked it off with uh, trying to bribe him with the new TV. Yeah, the, 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 the hungry man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun match. Got uh, old Earl Brodner in there being the referee. Yep. Uh, Omega did get some revenge in this match. Uh, yep, Omega got got some back. Yeah, it was uh, a fun match. Did a lot going for it. Yeah, the two falls to one. It was a two falls out of three match. Mm -hmm. Maverick Dawson wins with the uh, bullseye lariat in fall three. And he advances to the finals of the, the TV title tournament. Yeah. Did you read the other match? Um, the other semifinal in the tournament? Sweet Man and Deacon? That one was one I was planning to read and said I had to spend an hour and a half figuring out how to live stream. So yeah. hoping you have some good thoughts on that one. <laughs> I do. I do. It was, uh, I like this match too. You know, the zombie thing isn't always the easiest thing to. Uh, the cell, but the uh, they introduced a goo at the beginning of the match that played a pretty big part. Um, yeah, I, read, I read a little bit, tried to catch up with the end, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of evened the odds a little bit. I don't know. I thought it was a really good match. Uh, good showing from the Crows and a good showing from Deacon Brody. Um, OP sticks around. I'm liking what he's doing. Me too. Me uh, too. Crow did get the win on that one, so it's going to be Crow and Mav. Uh, Crow and Mav in the finals. I think uh, 
Deacon got the finishing rights though, so yeah, so he good, did. Good showing out of him. Good showing out of him. We had another uh, match that was got pretty crazy. The uh, steel cage match. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Uh, Jay Z versus versus Bucky. Yeah, it was all over the place. I like they sold the the real heat between the stables and got a lot of other people involved. Uh, they did a lot of work with the the cage, which is nice. Some people get into a uh, stipulation match and they don't even pay attention to it, or they just ignore it altogether. But at one point, I went and actually like just searched the word cage and it showed up like. 40 times on, on the first page of it. So they were definitely all about the stipulation. Yeah, this match, this was a good match. Um, there's a lot of magic you don't always see a ton of. Um, but this one had a lot of ma match action. And when you get that much, it's tough to not get a little boring. And I thought this one rolled along at a good pace the whole time. Definitely. I'm not, not a huge comic book guy, so the... Uh... A lot of the references I weren't, I wasn't getting, but you know, I, I'm probably in the minority with that now. All the big movies are coming yeah. Yeah. now, so it was it was fun. It was fun. If you read, yeah, yeah, I liked it, it good, too. It was a good match. The yeah. Rings of Saturn were heavily involved, and that's a good callback. <laughs> yeah. Also, we got we got a uh, blood sport title. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of ugly, it started pretty crazy <laughs> and just went downhill from there. Yeah, that match that match had it all. Um I uh, mean yeah, you maybe a little about, too much from from some sources. I Yeah, I heard it was a little controversial. Um I hear, I hear the prophet he might have got commissioned a little bit. Yeah, he got I think he a got little, a bit of a bit of a talking to. A little a little commissioned. Uh, interesting to see that uh, Emma Reza complained about having to join her own match and almost went a little Tony Robes there with conspiracies. Yeah, there was a there was a lot of talk about that at the beginning yeah. of the match. Um, I thought it did get better once that ended and they got into the match. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't see a little more working along with the uh, new breed members there with Axel. Yeah, I thought uh, they had a pretty good, but then at the end, uh, the I quit match. I like the Prophet not being able to pronounce the the qua, but yeah, I thought Prophet had some good stuff in this match. He had uh, not being able to say Q, and then I thought at the beginning of the match we cut the hole in the in the ring and uh, pulled Axel down. I thought that was fun. I mean, the phone stuff too, for what it's worth, it's fun. It's just I get it. It's <laughs> I get it. I thought that was fun, and I thought the tampon thing was kind of fun too. I definitely understand. But why. Maybe maybe the phone stuff belongs in the boner box. Right. Yeah. Boner box slash butt stuff. Uh, Amareza ended up uh, taking the finishing rights and giving the win to Axel with the the old hammer lock of doom. Oh, I give up! I give up! Yep. Yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, I mean, it was That's a good ending. ending. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. That have played well for the new breed. I don't know. Overall, I thought it was a strong card. Um, I think that might be it. Otherwise, I like the... Uh, yeah, we got all the matches, yeah. Except for yours. The main event. Oh, yeah. You get a chance to see the... Uh, what's Cashmere's? Uh, the Consumer's Corner. I actually didn't know. It was a pretty good uh, interview with uh, Devin. The old pretty, pretty boy, pirate boy. I'll wash out. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. It was. I like Devin. I thought Devin did a pretty good job in this match. Um, yeah, I don't know how yeah. much he contributed to the interview and how much was Cashmere, but I was entertained by it. Yeah. Cashmere a little more aggressive than usual. Got. Got in the pirate's face a little bit. Yeah. What you want to do though? Pirate will fucking cut you. Yeah, he's got a he's got a raper sword. 
Yeah, he's he's been doing good work. He's one of the most improved guys, I'd say, after the relaunch, you know? I would agree with that. I think Devin, I don't know, I've been enjoying Devin's character a lot more than I think I probably ever enjoyed uh, Magnificent. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, the five tools, he's definitely worked on his defense a lot. He used to be, take his take his guy a little too seriously. And he was getting, uh, fair he's, criticism uh, from what I remember. Out of character arguments, lit trolls, getting his head. And <laughs> no, I thought he's been doing great. He gets a lot of shit, too, sometimes on the disc. Than that, but he doesn't really now because he doesn't he doesn't react like he used to. So yeah, uh, he's been he's been a lot of fun to work with. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a lot of cool stuff behind the scenes too. I mean, he wants to start more of a slow pace, like rookie type of thing, which we may and, a rookie or two. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, yeah, I think it's something probably needs to be worked over a little bit, but I think the concept is solid. Quarantine something. away from the boners a little bit, you know. Something just a little bit more similar to what the other feds are used to, too. Almost like a transition into what we do. Yeah. You, you ever played in an EFED before? Not like a real EFED. Standard no. one? I did a couple times. I had fun in it. Is that the pay? I can't imagine it's much of a problem with the pace. I'm sure, it's not hard to yeah, keep up with. I will say one thing: there seems like their cards are more of an event, where ours are more. We're part of the game. We're doing it. Where theirs is, they can just kind of sit back and read it and enjoy it and be surprised by it. I feel like if we got you know the whole FedEx crew together and switched to an EFED, not that we should, but we did and divvied up match writing and you know see you know see yeah. you write a different you know you probably get most of the comedy writing matches and we're a little a little a little wrestling or maybe it might feel a little more serious and do some serious, serious stuff serious. But Magic and then. I was in one and it died and then it came back in a different form and a different name and it died again see that's what i've known it seems like they kind of cycle in and out a lot i mean there's a few that seem to be pretty solid but a lot of them seem to kind of ebb and flow and there it seems like they're just destined for failure because it puts so much pressure on the, the fat fed head, head to create so much content yeah like yeah. how long can you that's the thing I don't up for. Got to imagine that's tough. You you write all <laughs> all the matches and you, you know you can't take a week off. You got to judge everything and how easy it would be to just say fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and you know start slacking on all the judging and fall behind and then say right. Well. I think a lot of the stuff is not even due to like the guy being crooked. I think it's just the guy being burnt out and. Yeah. You want to take the easy way out, and I know this guy. I know he's better than this guy, so he gets the win, even though he, I didn't really read the stuff. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I could see that. I can't imagine how they don't get burnt out. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Although I will say, there are some times where I would have rather written a match than judged a high quality match and tried to had to tell somebody they lost. I'd rather yeah. like Jeff tell me who won, and I just go ahead and I just get to write the match out, and I can make it, you know, as close of a match as I want. And yeah, really yeah. put the guy over that that didn't win, but yeah, but, yeah. Uh, judging yeah. matches, especially I don't know, like with the quality of guys we got here in FedEx, I can't imagine a straight RP match is a lot of fun to judge. No, okay, especially King of Cage stuff, superstar yeah. stuff. Just, you know. Well, I mean, a lot of stuff, at times you can kind of hope for the sim to bail you out a little bit, but there's no hiding in a superstar title match, no hiding in a King of Wrestling. Right, exactly. It's got to be, I don't know. Can't imagine it's, it's fun to judge. No, and you have to get, and then, you know, 
almost OCD just trying to to kind of nit pick apart. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like Strike versus Alan Scott. Ooh, like, know. yeah, what do you do? Look for someone who used the wrong there somewhere? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're nitpicking. You're like the food people. Oh, yeah. You left some stems in your cilantro. You know, you know, other than that, this it's was a high-quality meal. and you know, got a new Yeah, this was delicious, but it may be a little too much pepper you lose. And you have to give over. You can't just say you won. You have to say, you didn't do this as good as this guy. And you, yeah, you got to give a real reason when they're both that good. You got to be like, this is what it was. You need to be like me and give Valentine the win over Stan Daniels and give the reason because Stan missed a minor no sell, but then he just kind of semi sold it in the you know how people start a start a post and with like the very end of the last person's parrot like the last paragraph. Yeah. He's kinda mixed it in the sentence and I just uh, probably he already kind of had the post done, and and then he threw that in, yeah. Yeah, and that was some Geno level nitpicking right there. Yeah, but then I had to go and reverse it and break Valentine's little heart. And... That's worse. Yeah, but it that story went from bad to worse. Yeah, but I, I gave the reason as to why Stan lost because he did this, and then. Oh. Yeah, but then you had to reverse courts. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun. I don't, I don't know. I should have got fired from judging after that, but nobody else wants to do the job, so. Yeah. You're stuck with it. Well, any, any more out of your match? What what happened? Who's the champion? We, oh, yeah, sorry. I the hot sluts here. I, re I retained in that match. Still, still the champ. Yeah, and I think is Terry the number one contender? I think now. I do not know. I've got a little preview of the card, though. Oh well, don't say anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. A, but uh... no, in all seriousness, my match was. I did have a lot of fun. That was fun with Devin and the beginning with. Uh, Tony had a nice post at the beginning of the match, too. Set things up nice with Demi and all that. Well, Tony's on a losing streak, though. You hear about that tag team rankings match today? Oh, yeah. They lost there, too, didn't they? Yeah, person people's tapped him out. That's a shame. I bet. Yeah. I mean, he's got to win eventually, I guess. Here, person people's might... might Make a little challenge for him at the pay-per-view. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Third man in contract versus the versus the real World Heavyweight Championship. You're going to take that belt from him, huh? And throw it in the garbage where it, deserves, where it belongs. Or, that's a fun... Or give it to a kid to play with since it's a toy. That's true. I could enjoy that. Yeah, Person Peoples already has two big wins. And yeah, how many does Tony have? So I think he's still looking for the first. Got yeah, it. I don't. No he claims a count wins. out win over Team SBFF, which is yeah. He claims some tag team wins, but we know that was mostly bad. Yeah, yeah. Mavs carrying that guy, I tell you. No, I, I'm a big Tony fan. I you, you got to read his posts in. With an English accent now. Oh. You can't read him as American. You got to read him as English. Yeah, I don't know. He has, he's doing a good job. Are you hearing this beeping? You oh, that's it? probably... That's me. Hold on. No, it's... I, I think it's Discord coming up here. But do you hear it on me? My, oh. oh, but yeah, I have the same thing. It's the same stuff. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully the all our sluts out there can't hear it. They probably could. Oh, it's still doing it. So this will be better. Uh, we get a little chance to plan next time. I was gonna yeah. send 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 some stuff out. Send some. I was proud that we read the matches. Yeah, yeah. I 
that's step one. Yeah. For my taste, maybe a little bit of stuff is overbooked, not uh, not booked by the Lars or Grayson or whatever, but just the term like when you you're reading a match and just too much interference and too much outside stuff going on and a lot of that going I, on. But I thought that was better at this card. I didn't think it was that bad. We got a little budding, budding stable wars going on, so that makes sense for a lot of interference and stuff to go on. It does. It does. Looks like uh might be almost over for halftime here. Yeah, that halftime show <laughs> seemed very good. Yeah, I, didn't, I thought it sucked. Yeah. His face doesn't look fucked up. I thought it would be messed up. He can't. Who you got in the second half here, Ole? I think I might have oh. to just back Tom here. Yeah, how about that, Tom? Yeah. Only player in the NFL that's older than me at this point, so. He's got way more Super Bowl rings than your team. Yeah, and also, I don't know, though. Also, Michigan, but. Yeah. Nah. Don't like Michigan. He's going to get seven rings. Seven of them. I think Mahomes probably comes back. That would be cool. Uh, top five pro wrestlers of all time. Who, who, who's your top five favorite? Who of all time? Not necessarily the greatest of all time, but who are Fates. your favorite? Hmm. I, I, I have mine ready. Okay, um, you go with yours. I need, I'm going to need a minute. Uh, Mick Foley is on my list. He... Managed to do like a hardcore legend. Then he went to mankind and was like scary, you know, yeah. pulling his hair out, you know, before before Mr. Sacco. Then he managed to do comedy, lovable underdog, kind of all of it. Did it all really good. Frozen. Oh, there he goes. Sorry, yeah. You're good. Uh, Macho Man. Internet connection is on Steam last night. Born, born in Columbus. Not too many people know that. My hometown. Macho Man? Yeah. And wrestling is one of those things where you kind of... Stuff... You appreciated when you were younger. You don't necessarily appreciate when you're older. In the reverse, like I, I didn't like the Macho Man when I was a kid, but now you know, older I appreciate. No, I really, really was into the Macho Man. He just, I was reacting how he wanted me to react to him. And then a guy, kind of on the opposite vein. I tried to keep him off the list, but I honestly can't do it. Is Hulk Hogan? Kind of the, you know, that was the soundtrack to my youth, the end of the end of every pay per view and comes crashing down in earth and time. You know. Yeah, he was, uh, yeah. he was the guy then. Yeah. Plus, I was a big NWO fan. So, like, how many people can say they were top face and top heel? Not too many people. Yeah, he's one of the few. Yeah. Uh, Shawn Michaels. I mean, what can you say about him? Pretty much a giant douchebag outside of the ring until he found the Lord. But He's probably still kind of, <laughs> still kind of a douchebag from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. one, my, one of my favorite WrestleMania matches ties into my favorite, which is obviously Chris Jericho. No big surprise. They had the they had the great match and HBK won. It was kind of a passing of the torch. And they kind of hug at the end, and then Jericho just kicks him in the dick. <laughs> we all put a douche move. That's classic. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, so that's my five. Yeah, that was a good five. Um, Maybe all comedy wrestlers like Santino and Disco mm -hmm. Inferno. Yeah, mostly. 
<laughs> no. Um, I think the top two off the bat for me are probably Stone Cold and The Rock, just because that's kind of when wrestling was at its peak, when I was really getting into it, those are the two guys that were <coughs> at the top of the game. Um, and I think they're interchangeable at the top of the game, too. They were both right I'd there. Say the, Rock, the Rock has more time as a, as a heel. And I actually, yeah. prefer, I actually prefer both as a heel, because I don't think Stone Cold was a very good face. No, Stone Cold, yeah. he wasn't really a face. He was just a dick who was super over it. Yeah. And he fought with his boss, so people loved that. But reminds me of too many like drunk uncles and shit. That was his whole shtick, yeah. He was just a um, drunk redneck who just fucking hit everybody. Related to any people like that. I don't really see it on TV. Glamorized. <laughs> so those two are definitely uh two. Uncle and the Rock. All right. Yeah. Uh Ultimate Warrior is another one. He was my Ultimate jam Warrior. little kid. Yeah. He was fun. Watching that back now when you're a little older, he just looks like a fucking cokehead just jumping all over. <laughs> just rambling. Yeah, he couldn't handle it. He couldn't He's handle it. Out of his shit. But as a kid, that was that was the a boy. Spirits of the Warriors. Yeah. He, he clearly just <laughs> did a huge rail and he fucking out of it. Remember when he went to WCW, they had the big, oh. big thing. And he had like this, just let him ramble on for 15 minutes. And it was like, oh man, this is so cool. This is so cool. He's still they, going. Okay. He took a lot of coke before he went out there. Yeah, his his run at WCW was nuts. That was that was him and Hogan at their uh, their worst. That was bad. Um so those are probably my top three. Um Bret Hart, I think, was big when I was a kid too. He was always a fun one to watch. Um he was always just crisp in the ring. Fluid. It was, it was fun to watch him wrestle. Yeah, definitely. I like Hart Foundation too. Yep, as a tag team, him and Nightheart were. Yep. Um, and once he turned on America as, as a stable too. Yeah, with the whole hardcore Canadian Hart Foundation. That was a good 90s twist on it. <laughs> uh, number five. Field goal. Is a tough one. Um, I don't know. Mankind's such a good one. I like yeah. Mankind. Or I like Hogan in the spot just because Hogan was. If I had another spot, I'd probably say Edge. Edge? I'd go. Bag. Plus, I loved Edge and Christian. Yeah. From that era, I like. I think I like Eddie. Eddie was a lot of fun with the Latino heat. Yeah, I loved Eddie Guerrero. Hard to. Hard to hate. Just inventing the whole. And he got. Here's a chair. Oh, he's <laughs> me. Like, they even put that into wrestling games for him. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, halftime's technically over here. Got any more hot sluts? Any? Thing you've noticed from the board? You wanted to mention? Not really. I think we covered pretty much everything. Yeah. Not, not a bad pilot. Came together no. in the very last possible second. Yeah, I thought it got better. I think yeah. next, uh, next round will be better. Yeah. Maybe, hopefully, wheelchair Eric will join us and yeah, maybe we... get some guests. I... Jay-Z, get, get him on. We get man handles in here. Maybe a little bit of ask access coming. Big, big, hot, dirty, hot, dirty sluts coming on this show here. I love it. All right. Well, for, for Twist Hex, this is Person Peoples. We'll... <laughs>